Greetings, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you on the ESRI Education team to talk about the new map viewer in ArcGIS Online. The new map viewer in ArcGIS Online. Now, my colleague Kylie Donia and I presented this recently at the ESRI Education Summit, June 2021. And we are happy to answer any questions and work with you all going into the future as you will become successful with the new map viewer. Blending, expression building, and symbology or style with the new map viewer in ArcGIS Online. First of all, I've got predominant crops. A lot of data at your fingertips in the new map viewer as part of ArcGIS Online, Living Atlas of the World, hubs, data portals, and, and other things, other ways of serving data. Here I've got predominant crop. Notice I've got three different things in here. It's actually giving me quite a bit of information. The color gives me an indication of which crop is dominant in that county. The size of the circle gives me how much of that county is in crop land. This is from the agricultural U.S. Census data. And the strength of predominance, in other words, how much of that is dominant? To what degree is that crop dominant? That is the color or saturation or hue of that particular color. So bright yellow means corn is a lot more dominant. Light yellow, corn is sort of dominant. Okay, so let's go ahead and change that though. If I want styles to be something different, I want to eventually build an expression. I'm going to go to styles and I want to select the proper layer. So I'm going to go to layers on the left side and I'm going to say I want the predominant crop as my selected layer. Now I'm going to go to styles and what I want is first of all every county to be a single symbol. So I'm going to scroll down until I get to single symbol. And then I'm going to say done. So now instead of the what I had before, I'm going to have the same color, the same symbol for every county. Now I've done that. And if I don't like that color, of course, I can go to styles and I can change the style. Style options. I've got lots of capabilities at my fingertips that I didn't have before in the classic map viewer. Okay, now I've changed it. Now the exciting part comes where I'm going to use an expression to figure out what is the total crop acres as a percentage. So in other words, give me an indication of the predominance of agriculture in that county. So I'm going to go to styles and this time instead of picking a field, I'm going to go to expression. And my expression builder is much like the classic expression builder where I can choose attributes. I can use Boolean algebra. I can use brackets and other things to allow me to customize my expression. This expression is in the arcade scripting language and I can make one line expressions. I can make multiple line expressions with if then routing and conditionals and so on. And I'm going to say I want the total crop acres divided by the amount of total area in that county divided by uh, crop acres divided by area of the county times 100 so I can get a percentage. I'm going to test that and make sure my syntax is okay. And don't worry that it gives you a new tab here. Your map is still there in another tab in your web browser. I'm going to say okay here. Okay, great. Now it is an example of where smart mapping kicks in where it says, okay, I see what you're mapping and I'm going to give you a, in this case, a graduated symbol. I don't want that though. This is where you can you have a lot more power if you override. Sometimes the defaults are appropriate and sometimes you want something different. So I'm going to override that and say I want a choropleth map. And I don't like those colors though. So I'm going to go to style options and I'm going to pick something greenish because this is agriculture and I thought that would be good. I like that but I want the the heavily ag counties to be darker. So I'm going to reverse the color ramp and I'm going to say done and done once more, and now I've got a, a, a sense of heavily ag counties. So if I go back to styles and I go to that expression here, style options, predominant crop, ooh, nice. Okay, I'm liking that. Interestingly, I have the tree canopy. So let's just take a look at that. If I look at the tree canopy, again, know where your data came from, know who created it, and so on. But if I look at the tree canopy layer, 
over the top of this, how am I going to be able to do that? My crop layer is over the top of my tree canopy. So I, I've got a couple of choices here. I can move tree canopy up, but now I don't see the crops so well. I've got a couple of choices here. One of which is I could make the crop la layer transparent or semi-transparent. So if I go to properties here, I've got this sort of capability. Ah, so now I see where there's more tree cover, there's less ag land for a variety of reasons, economic, social, land cover, land ownership, etc. who owns the forest, and so on and so forth. Another capability I have with the new map viewer is something called blending. So if I go to blending here, I can say, you know what, I don't want normal. I want, ooh, what do I have at my fingertips? I've got a lot of different options where I can blend these two different, I don't like those colors, but you've got a lot of options here at your fingertips. Oh, look at this. Oh, very nice. Source atop, source in, source out. Yeah. Okay, so I've got some, ooh, kind of liking that, but I don't see the cropland so much. And there's documentation as to what all of these, I kind of like that one. So I'm going to leave that, and there's documentation as to what all of these blending modes do and how they interpret pixels and give you the desired result. So I've done a bit of, of blending, I've done some expression building, and I've changed the style. Those are what I really wanted to show you in this section of this workshop. But one more thing, if I go to the a certain part of the world, let's go down here, and let's, in layers, let's go ahead and see what layers we've got. I'm going to turn off the cropland at the moment and then I'm going to go ahead and go to styles and I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to turn off I'm going to do the average I'm going to do average so I've set the crop blending to average I've set the tree canopy to no blending and so now if I zoom into a couple of these agricultural counties in South Central Colorado in the San Luis Valley, with this blending option, wow, now I can see a little bit better that this flatlands, it makes sense. The San Luis Valley is heavily agricultural. It's a high altitude agriculture. And so they can grow certain things there that they can't grow in other places. On the other hand, they have some harsh conditions that they have to deal with at that elevation. But in the case here, I've got both of these visible and I can see the terrain underneath with this blending option. So very wonderful to be able to have these options at your fingertips. Thanks.